Nick DeMarco, and today we're going to be talking about fixing patio steps. Specifically, we have flagstones on top of concrete, and the flagstones or the little tile pieces have come loose. We knew they came loose because they were making hollow sounds when we stepped on them. And worse yet, one of them behind my cameraman, Nate, here, was starting to slide forward, so I was afraid it was going to fall forward or crack. Either I'd have to get a new one, or worse yet, somebody might get hurt. So, um, as I said, today we're going to go through and repair those. Let's get started right now. Okay, so first we figure out how we knew they were loose. Certain ones had a very hollow sound to them when we knock on it. Some of them sounded very solid, and other ones were very hollow. Now, we could tell the difference right away. Then, when you come to the front of these steps, you can lift them and feel them moving in their mortar. So we identified the loose ones using a soapstone, which you can get at a welding supply store, and I think Home Depot has them. And then we numbered each one. So we went through here and put like number three on this one, and now we knew that that was going to go back in its right place. And we knew the number was in the top left corner, so we knew that's how it would go back in. That's going to save us some of the trouble with the mortar when we're all done. Okay, now let's look at how we prepared the uh, surface. To prepare the surface, we took a pressure washer and we washed the surface. Now I'm going to show you right down here. This has already been washed and dried and I've already applied the adhesive, but uh, we had some trouble with filming. So what we did here first is pressure wash this space and we pressure washed the back of the tile. Then we took a towel and we tamped it dry. So we tamped this on here because we didn't want the adhesive to um, be damaged from the water. And then we took a bit of adhesive, which I'll show you next. We took this PL500 lamp landscape adhesive, which we bought at Home Depot. It was about $5 per tube. And um, however much we put on here, I'm getting about three stones for a tube, three of these tops for a tube. So first we gooped on some of the adhesive, and now I'm going to set one of these stones in. So I'll take the stone and I'll place it back into its mortar space. And it may take a little bit of coercion to get it into place here. There it is. Probably a rubber mallet would have helped. All right, pause. So we're going to lay in this stone, you can see my letter off here, I lettered these as N. And I'm going to set it in the old spot, carefully, because if I do this correctly, or if I do this, if it works out, I won't have to remortar the joint, which I'm really not looking forward to on all of them. So there, that one's set in quite well. It's all the way back and it looks exactly like it did when it was first put in. But now when this Loctite PL500 landscape adhesive dries, this will be permanently adhered to the substrate. So I hope this is a good demonstration of how it works to re-adhere these stones down. And if you have the similar problem at your house, you can go through and do this yourself without having to hire a contractor. I actually love doing this stuff, so um, I hope you do too. Hope this was informative and check out the rest of our videos. Thank you.